During my time on this planet, I've been lucky enough to travel to some truly incredible places. Though each place is unique from the last, there are some similarities that are universal, no matter where you go, including man's ability for kindness, for hatred, and our ability to isolate and segregate ourselves based on status. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. On race, on religion, and on gender. But all across the globe, there's still a disturbing pattern. We're shoving women aside, sticking them in corners, and trying to convince them that there are roles they simply cannot play. I'm determined to travel the globe and find women working in jobs that are often wrongly considered a man's profession to finally and once and for all prove that women can do anything men can do. So, I came to South Africa. I've traveled the world and I've noticed um, something that's very similar in a lot of different countries I've been to, which is that women are kind of often thought of as lesser than men. And so it kind of puzzled me because you have all these like super awesome, super badass women doing all different things. And so I thought I'd come to South Africa and I'd look for one of the toughest jobs, in my opinion, which is a ranger, and find myself a female ranger, talk to her, kind of get her story and yeah just show that women are awesome and can do anything they want and that female rangers are kind of the toughest of the tough out there. It's uh, my first day I just got to bush camp lovely here. I'm really hoping to find some female rangers I feel like they'll be around. The first interaction I'll have with them will be at dinner time and when all the rangers come together and they serve us dinner so I'll head to dinner and I'll uh, see if I see any female rangers. I, was, I got here and I was on the I was searching for a female ranger and I got to the dinner line and there weren't any. It's all men up there, so there isn't a female ranger here. Definitely knew South Africa was a conservative society before coming here. Yeah. I think it's extremely important to find a female ranger to prove that she's made it. I think um, it's important to find these role models and these strong female females and to showcase them to people and so I am determined to find one. So I was pretty bummed that I didn't find any female rangers the night before, but I was not going to let that deter me. So I headed out the next day with my guide Ryan. Ryan, I just discovered that Scotia does not have any female rangers, um, which is a bummer, definitely. Uh, when was the last time you worked with a female ranger? When was the last time there was one here? Um. I've worked with many few female rangers and females within the wildlife industry. Mm -hmm. uh, but at Scotia, the last time I worked with a female ranger it was in 2014. There definitely is a lack of females, I would say. I think there's a few reasons for that, but uh, while I studied, there were, in the five years that I've studied, there was, I'd say, roughly, roughly about the fall. 12 to 15 women that studied through the course, but that's, I would say about an average of about three or four women in a class of 20 to 25, so mainly men. A lot of people that come on these game drives and they find out that the range is a female, I mean some people can be taken back a bit about it and shocked in a way because it's not what they expect. And by a miracle and the universe being super nice to me found out that there was a freelance ranger by the name of Sarita who was working in the area and she agreed to come down and meet me. Sarita was nice enough to let me go out on a game drive with her, get the feel for what her life is like and what it's like to be a female ranger. What's your uh, favorite part about being a ranger?
It's definitely super cool and super inspiring to see Sarita in her element. How she was right at home behind the wheel and that she loved talking to people and that she loved the animals and everything about it. Got to the watering hole and we saw little Ellie's playing in the water and I don't think I've ever been happier in my life. The amount of knowledge that she knows about the animals is incredible. I mentioned that there are people who are uncomfortable with female rangers and people that were kind of weird when it came to it. Definitely saw that firsthand. And the mansplaining started. 18 to 20 hours a day is eating, and 60% of what you eat, he also eats out yeah. without yeah. Uh, any special <laughs> thing. <laughs> Definitely was very eye-opening to see. Also, I learned way too much about elephant penises. Didn't need to know that. Thank you, man. So after the bout of mansplaining, we continued on with our journey away from the elephants and we continued on with our drive and I learned so much from Sarita and not just about the animals but kind of about her world and what it's like to live the life of a ranger and it was extremely inspiring. strong, very capable. Um, do you think this is a job that any female could do? I think it's the love of what you're doing. I think generally the feeling that I, I have is that if you apply as a female, they will actually accept you. So I think it's being out there in nature, seeing the animals, and meeting lovely people, being free. So my time at Scotia is unfortunately coming to a close, and I've learned a ton while I was here. I found myself a female ranger, and she was one of the most badass people I've ever met in my life. I proved that women really can do anything they set their minds to, and that they are pretty freaking awesome. So as I sit here, on the roof of a jeep, staring out into the sunset, as people do. I know that my journey is far from over. I know that there are more places to go, more people to see, more women to talk to, and jobs to discover. 